Republican means that I grew up city in the inner cities of New York City. I grew up in the projects. I basically did all my social work the last 30 years in the Democratic communities. And although I'm an urban Republican, I just want people to know that in this race, people are not going to vote for a party. They're going to vote for a person. They're going to vote for who has done the most for New York City and who has created more opportunities for New Yorkers. I'm a small business person that has employed thousands of people in the last 30 years of my life, in the last 45 years of my life. And I will continue to do that. Whoever is the next mayor of this city has to land on his feet and know exactly what he's going to do. We need to put politics aside. We need to get uh, to practical solutions, solutions that make sense. Yeah. We need to get our youths out of the streets and into, into jobs. We need to bring our small businesses back. We need public safety because no one wants to work or invest in a city that's not safe. So all these things I know how to do and I will get the job done. Well, there are some big challenges ahead. New York City, it's just not uh, what people normally think of it to be during this time. Of course, you've got coronavirus pandemic, small businesses shut down, schools are closed at this point. Uh, the NYPD is, is dealing with record retirements as well. We've seen high crime in the city. So let's start with the small businesses because we are getting word that Indoor dining can finally reopen 25% capacity on Friday. Tell me about uh, this decision to reopen, the timing of it all, and how you would fix the problem of all of these businesses who are struggling right now. Timing is, is terrible. We should have never been shut down to begin with. I think that this became very political. The, this pandemic became a personal agenda for our elected officials. And that's the biggest problem that we have. Restaurants and small businesses are the backbones of New York City. We are the ones that employ people, pay rent, maintain our, our buildings in order, and in essence, keep our city thriving. You needed to focus on the most vulnerable. The most vulnerable are not the people that are going out to restaurants and bars and nightclubs and doing uh, all, all of the things that they do on a regular basis. The vulnerable are the elderly. The vulnerable are the ones that have underlying conditions. Those are the ones that we needed to protect, and they weren't protected. So we all paid for, the, for, the, for their mistakes. On another hand, small businesses, if you give them incentives, they will come back. We give incentives to large corporations like Amazon and Google and the big tech companies. They don't need tax incentives. Small businesses do. If you take those billions of dollars and you spread it out amongst 25 or 30,000 new small businesses that are willing, able, and wanting to come to New York, we will bring our city back. We will get it back. I know how to do it because I've been a small business person for many, many years. Yeah. What's more shameful is, is that they, every elected official has been getting a paycheck and their staff has been getting paid. While I've been, while I've had to shut my business down, and my employees have been unemployed. Right. That never happens. Absolutely. You make such a, a fair point. Of course, all these politicians, they're not skipping a paycheck uh, while they're making rules for businesses to shut down. And, and I want to talk to you, Fernando. This is a very uh, crowded race for New York City mayor. Probably one of the most recognizable names is Andrew Yang right now. Of course, he uh, had previously run for president under the Democrat ticket. Tell me about what you plan to bring uh, to, to voters and how you could sell your campaign to uh, beat what Andrew Yang's promising. What makes me different from Andrew Yang is that I, I'm an entrepreneur in New York City. I am an employer in New York City. I've lived all my life in New York City. I doubt that he has the kind of record that I have. I know the jail system because I taught, trained, and employed first-time nonviolent offenders. I had the largest disarmament program ever in the history of New York City. I fixed the taxi industry. Drivers were getting murdered 80 a year. We were able to fix that working with two great Republican leaders uh, at the time. We were able to fix the bodegas uh, in New York City. Andrew Young doesn't even know what a bodega is. It's very <laughs> easy to throw your hat in the race when yeah. you've got great name rec recognition. But I have great name recognition as well. 
I am an urban Republican. I want the best for the city, and I'm not about politics. Yeah. I'm not a politician, right. and I don't for, like politics. Yeah. Hey, all those things you mentioned, very important to New Yorkers living in the city. Fernando Mateo joining us live, talking about his campaign. We appreciate it. Thanks, Fernando. Thank you. We will win. All right. Take